Hey folks, so for today's video, I actually had a fun little idea. I ordered a decent amount of bath products from some independent small businesses and I wanted just to do a good old fashioned bath stuff haul. You know, bath products, scrubs. Ooh, I'm missing a scrub. Wait, one sec. All right. Am I still in focus? Where was I? Uh, uh, there. Um, I bought some bath products because in the last year, Josh and I actually have a bathtub that I can use. It's really nice actually, like just getting to chill out for upwards of a couple hours once a week. I like it a lot, but I've been wanting to branch out to try some new bath bomb companies, to try some new body scrub companies, to try all kinds of stuff because the stuff that happened in 2020, um, with the higher ups at Lush left a bad taste in my mouth. So I'm like, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna try supporting a bunch of other brands because I mean, in the time that I worked at Lush years ago, I tried literally every bath bomb and then some, and I'm like, I don't want to say like, you tried one, you're trying them all because it's not the truth, but like I did try them all. I have a couple of hauls of things uh, from two different brands, both of which I've talked about on this channel before, Lokita Bath and Body, as well as Witch Baby Soap. And I went a little ham on a biscuit, if you know what I mean. I, I don't know if that's a thing that people say besides Josh and I, but I went, a little back while. So let's actually start with the Lokita stuff because it's in a box. This is a brand that is, they're based out of California, Garden Grove, California. They actually have a store in California, which is super cool. And I've talked about their body scrubs before, um, body butters. Uh, I think I'd only tried one of their bath bombs before, maybe one or two, but I bought more bath bombs this time. So they actually have some other fun things besides just bath products. Where's the sticker? They have some fun little merchandise. Um, I almost bought a robe. I almost bought a robe that matches this sticker. But like something about this sticker reminds me of those stickers that you got in like, you know, like the 50 cent or the 25 cent th things where you stick a quarter in a machine at like the entrance to a grocery store and you got like random Playboy bunny stickers. Was that just my town? I don't know. This reminded me of those, like the stickers that you would stick on your like composition notebooks and I might stick it on a phone, who knows? I might stick it on a water bottle or a coffee cup. That would be actually funny to stick this on the side of like a to-go plastic coffee cup that I reuse. It says sad girl and it's holographic. Wait, is that hollow? No, I think that's unicorn skin. I can't tell if that's actually hollow. That looks hollow. That looks hollow. And then we got an air freshener. This one smells like mango and I haven't actually opened it yet. We're actually unboxing this, wow. Oh, there we go. I was like, how do I open it? <sighs> Does it smell like mango? My my room smells like so many bath things right now. Ooh, I'm gonna have to, I'll put this in my car tomorrow. Ooh, that's lovely. That's lovely. Isn't that cute? It's like a little sailor scout. I do have to clean out. I actually have a bunch of stuff hanging from my, my rear view mirror. I have my old Hot Topic lanyard. Yes, I know I still own it. I'm like weirdly proud that I was employee of the month once, but um, I'll have to replace this with that. So I love it. It's super cute and it smells lovely. Next is something that I actually already opened up because I wanted to smell it so bad. This is their churro whipped soap. Y'all, it smells so spot on. It doesn't just smell like cinnamon and sugar. It smells like cinnamon, sugar, and fried dough. I have a horchata body scrub from them too that I got months ago using that and then using the whip, mixing these, oh my God, I'm gonna smell amazing. Oh God, it, and it, it's it's lovely, I love it. I love cinnamon sugar, oh my God, it smells so good. And this is one of their whipped soaps. So they do have whipped soaps, more of a whipped body scrub, um, body creams, some face scrubs as well, lip scrubs. Uh, cuticle oil. I'm trying to think of the other things that I haven't actually used. Hair spray things, solid soaps. Um, but yeah, I have a handful of whipped soaps from them. I have like three or four and they smell amazing. And now into the bathy things. These are actually shower steamers. So they're ones you stick at the bottom of your shower uh, instead of a bath bomb. Throw one in your with your nighttime shower. These ones, it says uh, Mimi's time shower steamers uh, and one I believe is lavender and then one was, let me smell it. I'm just gonna open it, see if I can get it. 
I'm so excited to use these. And they match, well, they match what my hair used to look like. They don't match it now. I'm gonna dye my hair soon, I promise. I just don't know exactly what I'm gonna do with it. I think I'm gonna do green. I just wanna get as much pink out as I possibly can. It smells so good. It smells like lavender Smarties. <laughs> if that wasn't, if that's a smell. It smells like Smarties and lavender. This is also a bath bomb. Let me open it. The one time I'm opening things, I'm wearing fake nails. These are from The Nailist, by the way, in case you're wondering. Um, this one, ooh, she's so cute. Eh, taped all the way shut. Bad Bunny Bath Bomb. Okay, that's what it is. It looks, oh, it's, look, it's this guy. Oh, that is, what does that smell? I fucking know this. What is this smell? Oh my God, I'm gonna lose my mind. Is that just amber and musk? <laughs> It says rum too. Yeah, yep. Actually, no, I, I know what it smells like. It smells like, cause they actually say this in here. Super firm scent of amber, bay rum, and hints of musk. Think of the delicious, delirious scent from Swap Meat Incense Spot. This does, it smells like at a random ass festival or like a, a farmer's market. And then you have that like one booth that has a bunch of incense things. Oh my God, that's so spot on. And it's a bunny rabbit. Look at that. Look at that. Next. So I got two of the Concha bath bombs. I got one that's vanilla. Let me open it. One that is vanilla and one is their Uni Concha, which I have soaps of. Um, I have bought soap of this before. Oh, it smells so good already. Oh, it smells amazing already. Oh gosh. Oh man. Oh, these smell amazing. Oh my God. This one's very sweet. Like a sweet, sweet and tart. I mean, it's it's also based on a sweet, like these are pastries. Yeah, this one is just sweet, kind of candied, a little vanilla. I like it. This one should be cute. And I'm so excited to use these. I'm so excited to use these. I took a bath yesterday. This stuff came in the mail the other day and then the other package came in today. And I was like, I don't want to use the bath products yet because I want to fill the haul. So this one's lovely. And then this one is the vanilla concha, which is more of a uh, kind of, I guess, common flavor of the uh, pastry. Oh, that's lovely. I still like the bunny rabbit the best. I'm not sure what color it is on the inside. I'm guessing the pink one is gonna be a brighter color. I, I don't know if the bunny one is like red on the inside or not. I have no idea. And then I got more, these ones are bath bombs too. These ones are the night night bath bombs and it is lavender and vanilla. Lavender and vanilla is a lovely combination. Uh, that's one of my favorites. It's a bit more lavender than sweet, which I mean, I'm into, I like it. I'm, I'm a fan. Yeah, it does have a sweetness to it, but it is way more lavender. A little like sleepy time. They look like Alka-Seltzer tablets. <laughs> Purple Alka-Seltzer tablets that you just toss in your bath bomb. Don't throw them by the way. Yes, these are nice for sleepy time. It's like sleepy time tea for my body. I can't tell you how much I miss the smell of bath bombs everywhere in my house. I'm still getting through shower gels. <laughs> We're so close. So that was all the stuff from Lokita Bath and Body. And I am a huge fan. I have touted their praises for a while. I have tried so many of their stuff at this point. Um, yeah, I'm a big fan. So I, I do highly recommend. And they always send little gifties too, like a little extras. So I got a body cream, body crema, that is the same sad girl scent, because that is one of their scents. Um, I actually don't know what sad girl smells like. What does a sad girl smell like? Vodka? Vodka and tears? I don't know. I don't know why. I just thought of like a sad girl smells like vodka, tears, and Taylor Swift songs. That does not smell like vodka and tears. What is that? Ooh, I don't know what that smell is, but it smells good. Eee, excited. And then the second store I bought stuff from was Witch Baby Soap, which I actually have my shipping information <laughs> so I can actually see what the hell the names of things are. Okay, so I've had some soaps from these guys before, but I had never bought any of their bath products besides soap and hand sanitizer. I had had one of their hand sanitizers, but this one is called Gossip Stopper. What is this one? My sniffer is not nearly as like precise as it used to be. I used to have like the most innate sense of smell. Like <laughs> I'd be like, that's Jasmine, that's, 
uh, uh, frankincense that's specifically lime. I do like it a lot and it's very pretty. I love the idea of round soaps. I feel like they're easier to use. Is that just me? Because they don't like slip out of your hand. Because with, with square, I, this is a very random tangent, square and rectangle soaps, because like no matter what way you hold it in your hand, if you hold it like this, or if you hold it like this, you're not, like it can slip out of your hand. With a round soap, you can just clasp all around it and then just wash yourself. And then I got fairy cake bath bomb, which is this one. Ooh, it's so cute. It looks like a little donut. It looks like a little cake. Look at that. I think also because I have so many things in this box, it's getting kind of like tainted and I don't want to open it, but it's a blend of juicy summer berries, rich vanilla cake, lightly whipped vanilla frosting and powdered. Oh, wait, that's what's on a cake. So it doesn't have all of those things specifically, but it's supposed to smell like an actual fairy cake. So very cute, very excited. Uh, Twin flame is this cute little heart. Little heart guy. Ooh, this one's very, oh, what is that? It's floral, but it's not roses. It's pretty and it smells good. Blood and milk, which I just love that name because it's red, it's a red bath bomb. It's an entire, it's red, it's red. <laughs> I'm so excited to use this. Oh. That's got coconut in it, right? There's no blood in it, obviously. But yeah, that one's sweeter. Sweet and kind of musky. Mmm. That smells really good. It's very strong, very strong, very heady. This one is the astrology bath bomb. It's like a little darker, smokier, a little woodsier. I like it though. Yeah, it's woodsy. It's really woodsy and really green, but also smoky. It's interesting. I like it though. And then we have runestone, which I don't know what it's supposed to smell like, but it's so pretty. It's bright green. Ooh, that's like a really light kind of greeny scent. And this one's another softer floral, I think. Weirdly enough, this reminds me of an antique store. Don't ask me why. There's like very classic fragrances in here that like linger for forever. I feel like this is one, if you took a bath in it, you would smell like this for a while afterwards, which I am very into. If I don't have to wear perfume after taking a bath, fuck yeah. This next bath bomb came in its own box. It's called Black Bass and um, it's apparently huge because it was several dollars more than the other ones. <laughs> fuck, trying to open it from the top. Oh shit, wait. No, fuck, I should have done it from the top. Damn it. Because <laughs> apparently it looks like a coffin. All right, Abigail, see if these nails do you any justice in opening this shit. <laughs> why is it not doing good stuff? Get, oh, okay, I could have just opened it from the bottom. Anyway, it comes in a box, looking like it's buried under the depths. Oh my God, oh my God, oh, oh my God. It is huge. This is giant. Um, I'm gonna put this box down here for now because it's broken. This is gigantic. Oh my God, I love it though. Wait, like this in relation to this? I mean, I guess it's not that much bigger, but like that's at least twice. Oh yeah, and it's like taller too. It's thicker. So yeah, it's a big ass bath bomb. It has like like a woodsy, it, it says it's mahogany, but it, it almost, it smells very like stereotypically masculine, like the stuff that you would find in like more masculine fragrances, but like also kind of like a deeply floral, like a, like a really deep floral scent. It says funeral carnation specifically. I don't necessarily smell carnations a lot, so I don't really know the smell of carnation off the top of my head that I do with other scents, but it's very lovely. Ooh. I do love the like very stark difference between the aesthetic of these companies because we have like the astrology bath bomb with like night night. <laughs> like I love it. I love having both of these. They're all just so fun. They're so fun. And my room is gonna smell really good. And I'm just gonna put them all back here. I got two of the night night ones cause I knew I was gonna like it. So I'm like, I'm just gonna buy two. Look at that. Look at that. Wait, it's perfect. Stay. Look at that. Yeah, those are fun. I'm really excited about these. I needed to find some new bath bomb companies to tout their praises because I am a connoisseur of baths. I've been mostly using like more bath salts and bubble bath for the last year. I've gotten a handful of like bath salts from like Ulta. Some have like CBD and stuff. I've been trying some. I don't use them a lot, but there was one that had like, I think a full 10 milligrams of CBD, which is like nothing realistically, um, but 
Yeah. It smelled good though. And it made my skin feel soft. That's kind of the main thing. As long as my bath time is fun, it's pretty. It doesn't irritate my skin and it makes my skin feel really soft. And um, it smells lovely. I'll get people sometimes asking, they're like, oh, what's the point of bath bombs? It's like, A, it's for softening your skin. B, frivolous fun bath time. C, actually aromatherapy. I definitely highly recommend both of these to y'all. If you have been looking for some smaller uh, bath bomb companies to try, I definitely want to know if there's any that you guys like and you follow because I love supporting small businesses and also I just love baths. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I did. Now my whole room smells amazing. I'm gonna go make dinner now. But for today's song of the day, let's see. Oh, actually, we're gonna have it be another Cold Rain song because I literally discovered this yesterday when I was driving home. Hilariously, actually. I was listening to Cold Rain and I was just letting uh, YouTube music just kind of play in the background. Um, I wasn't choosing any songs. It was just like an algorithm. And then it started into one song. It started and I was like, wait, I know these notes. This is the same opening riff as that Alanis Morissette song. And lo and behold, it was an Alanis Morissette cover. A fucking metal Alanis Morissette cover of Uninvited. Holy shit. I lost my mind. Literally, I was driving home. I was in the car. I was almost home. And then the music started and I was like, wait, this sounds like... It is? It, it just, it went from me being like, don't steal that to, oh my God, it's a cover. What? Oh my God, it was such a cool fucking cover. Cause that song already is like really theatrical and like very big, uh, especially with all the orchestra uh, and the just musicality of it all. And then they made it into like a metal version with like all of the same like strings, epic crescendos, just yeah. I love combining like thrashy metal guitar and like vocals with just symphony. But yeah, uh, the Cold Rain's cover of Alanis Morissette's Uninvited is today's song of the day because holy shit, you have to hear it. It's so good. I will leave a link to any products that still exist. I've had really good experience with both of them so far and uh, I'm such a solid soap person. Oh my God, I love solid soaps. Thanks for watching everyone. Uh, if you would like to see more of me, subscribe and hit the bell notification to get notified when I upload new videos because sometimes people don't get them in their subscriptions and then they miss an upload and they're like, wait, I missed you. And I was like, I've been continuously uploading every few days for a month. What do you mean you missed me? But yeah, uh, subscribe if you want to see me regularly. And if you would like to follow me on any of my other social media accounts, my Instagram and my Twitter are both Abers07 and then my Twitch is Abers without the 07. You can follow me there if you want. Yeah. I hope you guys had a great week. It is Friday, so congratulations. You made it. Stay hydrated, stay rested. If you wanna come hang out with me on Twitch tomorrow night, I'll be streaming at some point. Saturdays are always usually the day when I stream on Twitch, so head over there if you're interested. But definitely check out both Witch Baby and Lokita. I highly recommend both of them. So thanks for watching everyone and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.